I'm literally instantly out. That's sick. If you guys want some free Robux, like this video, comment down below Notification Squad Rocks and your Roblox name and you'll be entered into my free gift card giveaway. What's up guys, it's Dragod and I'm back with another video. In this one, I'm going to show you all of the best ways of escaping prison in Jailbreak in literally record time. You can get out instantly using these. You guys aren't going to believe some of these. These are going to blow your mind, seriously. Now first, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications and join the notification squad. Because those dudes, as I say in every video, they get my respect for being dedicated to the channel. They're just the top of the top, the best of all the subscribers out there, okay? So if you want if you want that, if you want to be a part of the ballers, then make sure to join the notification squad. What more can be said, eh? Anyway, so I want to show you guys the first way of getting out really fast. So this is the default one I use. So if you've been on my channel, you already know this. I'm just kind of showing for the freaking record, I suppose. So if you run on this trampoline and you jump on it, then move over towards any kind of corner or, or edge and make sure that that edge is in a direction such that if you move forward, right, like this, you would be propelled to a lower roof such as that one there. So I'm going to show you what, what happens right here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to show you what happens right here. I just move to the edge. Then I crawl and bang, I'm flung all the way over to the roof, you see, and I can from here just easily escape just like that. I can just escape. Now I'm going to show you the second one. I'm going to kind of reverse engineer show you the second one, right? So if you've done the tactic I just showed you there, but on the left trampoline, then you should end up on this roof. So it also works. It also works for the left trampoline. Don't worry. Both of them work for this. You've got to make sure you crouch or crawl even when you do it. Otherwise, it won't work as well. It won't work very well at all, to be honest. So, this is the one I wanted to reverse engineer show you. This is a vent, right? A secret vent, which you can use to instantly escape. So, I'm going to go inside it now, if I can. Don't worry, I, I definitely can do it because I've done it before. There we go. Am I, am I in? Am I in? Not quite. Let's go a bit more. I should be able to do this. I just got to press the forward arrow key at the right time, is all. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Guys, ah, we did it. I knew we could get it eventually. I knew we'd get there. Right, so I'm just crawling down this. I want to show you guys how you can get inside this vent from inside the prison. Obviously, it's no good just knowing where it leads out. This is a vent you can use to escape prison really easily, really fast. So, okay, I've managed to get out. Right here is a special room. This room leads to the vent you guys just saw, right? So you might be wondering, where is this? I'm going to show you where it is in relation to the outside first. So there is outside the window. That is that is one of the trampolines. There's the entry into the yard. There is the exit from the inmates area, I suppose. And inside here, this is the diner. So if you are in the diner and you have a key card or you see a police officer moving towards this, just run up behind the police officer and run in with him. And then you can sprint over here. Pop up here and go through the vent. And there's also this door here if you have a key card. Right, so time to show you the next way of escaping. I'm actually just going to walk out using this. In fact, you know what? I want to show you something else. You can just, in fact, glitch through the floor here. All you have to do is simply press C again. And you should just glitch straight through this. So <laughs> that's what happens right there. That's not even intended, but you can do that. Maybe if you're getting chased by a police officer, right? And you need to lose him. You don't think you're going to get away from him because you're both inside the vent, but at the same time, you're really close. So you know that the moment you get out of that vent, he's going to get out and he's going to arrest you. So you can just press the crawl button again and it should fling you straight out of that vent and glitch you through the roof. That police officer will have no clue where you've gone and you'll be able to escape. So in a situation like this, right, there are some police officers about. We can't just punch this thing to get free. Otherwise, some police officers are going to come and get us. So we're going to use a secret method to escape, which is silent. But before I do that, I want to show you another glitch, which is simply that if you move towards this window here, right, and you kind of jump so that you're stood on it, as I am here, then press and hold the space bar and press and hold the W arrow key, right? Then move your screen so that you're facing directly beneath your Roblox character. And now, after you've done all of that, spam press C. Trust me, this works like crazy. I'm just going to keep doing it. And you will... Oh my god, I'm just... <laughs> I'm really high up there. No, if you if you keep doing that, 
then what will happen is you will glitch through this window. Bang! Finally we did it! Guys, we're inside the prison. We just glitched straight through. You saw, we didn't have a keycard. We didn't have anything. Like, look at this guy. Hi, fake... What, does he think I'm a fake me? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> thinks I'm a fake dragon? Is that what he thinks? <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> anyway, you guys saw that. Now it's time to show you guys another way of escaping around that electric box, but completely 100% silent. That's the word I was looking for. Dude, I lost the word there for a minute. Anyway, if you want to do that, you just need to watch this video. I'm going to show you. I know I'm in prison right now. There we go, finally. Enough stalling for time. We can just do this. <laughs> Also, if you've seen the video up until now, up until this part, make sure you like the video and see if this video can hit 2,500 likes, right? The absolutely savage life goal. I, I meant to say like goal, but it is a life goal too. That is life goals. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump over here. I don't even know why I went onto that trampoline. Must have been purely habit. In fact, I, I just remembered I have two more ways to show you of escaping prison, not just this one. So I'm gonna jump on this, and you can in fact Actually, I've got three methods. My god, I just keep remembering more things that I do. Anyway, if you jump on top of this electric box, then you can in fact kind of walk. Well, you guys saw what I just did there, right? You jump on top of the electric box, jump again, but you want to jump towards this area here, right? And make sure you're pressing and holding the, the W arrow key so that you kind of use it as a ladder, for lack of a better word, and make sure you keep facing the wall, otherwise you will fall down. You want to be facing the wall as much as possible. So as you can see right here, I am just moving and from here I can easily jump out. I'm not actually going to do it because I don't, in fact I'm going to do it, otherwise people are going to say it's fake. <laughs> there we go, I did it, I want him to arrest me now because I still have things to show you. There's been a fire. Alright, so the fire is out. I still have two more insane ways to escape to show you and one of them actually allows you to escape instantly with the helicopter. No, that's not just about glitching through the window, in fact my glitching through the window glitch doesn't allow you to get to the helicopter. Sure, you can go up the stairs inside the police officer area, but there aren't the right type of windows upstairs, unfortunately, so you can't just glitch again to get to the helicopter. But it doesn't matter because using a bit of social engineering and a standard tactic, you can in fact get out of the prison and also get the helicopter at the same time. So I'm gonna show you right now what you have to do. So, usually when I'm doing this tactic of escaping by jumping on the electric box, other people will see what I'm doing, right? And they will, in fact, attempt to copy me. I'm waiting for someone to do it right now. No one seems to be doing it. They're just doing the standard way, apparently. I mean, come on, guys. Okay, well, usually, usually what happens is other people will try and copy you, right? They will jump on top like me and do this. And then when somebody jumps there, all you need to do is jump on their head and you will be, in fact, able to jump up to that section there and escape fully from the prison as well as get a sweet helicopter on the way out, which isn't half bad, am I right? Okay, so here's someone. Here is somebody trying to... Well, you guys saw. There was somebody trying to do a me, right? <laughs> you could just jump on his head and get the helicopter. I've done it before. Doesn't seem like many people are interested in doing it this time around, so... Anyway, so next, what I wanted to show you is in fact a similar way of escaping as the one which, which we did around there, except you do it over here. You, in fact, jump up here. This is this is slightly more difficult because you have to use a bit more skill. You want to jump up here like this, then jump again. Damn it. Until you are walking on that portion there. Let me try again. I'm sure I can do this. I'm sure I can do this. This one's all about timing and all about jump skill. To be honest, the other ones are much better because, because they're easier and take less effort. So let me just try do this for a second. I'm sure I can do it, right? I'm sure I can do it. Okay, fine, I can't do it, <laughs> but I've done it before. Essentially, you jump on top of that, you jump again, and you'll end up in this kind of area. You move over to there, and you jump over that fence in the same way which I jumped over over here. And lastly, the final way of escaping is simply to punch the electric box. You guys will know about that. That's not even like a secret. So I want to show you a few other kind of secrets or life hacks which you can do on this. So if you're escaping from this portion here, right? There and there's a police officer on your tail. You want to escape really, really fast, okay? And using that portion or that little, you know, under the gate portion over there doesn't quite cut in this situation because a police officer will be on your tail. 
but it's good because you can in fact get out faster. Do this. Drift your car towards this section here, and the more perfectly you do it, the better by the way. And you'll be in fact able to jump on this, and this shaves off about 2 seconds of your escape time, but when you're getting, when you're getting chased by a cop, it makes all of the bloody difference. It makes a huge difference. Like, it makes the cops look slow, okay? It makes them look really, really slow. And it's just the most awesome thing. So now I'm heading out to prison. Hey, buddy, do you want to ride? I find it funny someone thought I was the fake. That's the first time this ever happened to me. It's funny to get recognized in the game still. Buddy, do you want to ride or are you intent on running at the back of my car? Because that's not, that's not how cars work, okay? Anyway, <laughs> let's go and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get a helicopter without even needing a keycard. And that's not the same tactic as we were going to use over there. This is a different one, which always works all the time. This one isn't difficult like that one. I wouldn't in fact even rate that one as difficult. I'd just say that it just relies a bit more on other people actually trying to mimic you. If they try and mimic your method of escaping, then it'll work. If they don't, then it won't. A star driving for me right there. So I'm going to show you guys this and then we're going to have a sweet red and black helicopter all to our lonesome. I'm sure you guys are excited. Are you excited? Because I am. I'm freaking pumped. <laughs> so you just go up around here. There is in fact no need to go up to the very top as I used to do. I used to use this same path but I used to go all the way up to where the convertible was. There's no point. So in fact you can just go here with your car. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm about to do. Just copy. Do as I do. Bang. And you are in fact on top of this police officer base. You can jump on top of your car. And Alohomora. You're on the helipad. And there'll be a helicopter here most of the time. So you can just take that. As well as being able to take some guns in. If you haven't already taken a trip. Paid a visit to the criminal base. So guys. Those are all the life hacks I have for you today. If you liked this video, be sure to slap a like on it because I want to see if this video can hit 2,500 likes. Remember that like goal from before. I am counting on you behind that monitor to actually clear that, clear this boss level. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. Turn on notifications to join the notification squad. I'm Dragod. A helicopter just spawned and what the hell did it even do? I'm Dragod. Peace out. Oh, are you serious, bro? <laughs> God's sake, bro. Are you serious? Did I manage to unlock it? Or... I just can't shoot them, damn it. God's sake. <laughs> I was so close. I was literally about to get in it. What's he doing? He's not even coming out to arrest me. He just decided, like... Oh great, and now he's locked it. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. You're not even freaking... You press E to go up, you moron. <laughs> I'm being mean. <laughs> okay, he's good. Hey, there's another one. That's born in record time. Why have I continued the video? <laughs>